Hey guys, thanks so much for being here. I am Heather and I just wanted to go over a few things that I found on Amazon. Let's just get into it. I think the things that I got, um, I've got lots of things from Amazon, but in t like today's video, I'm just gonna do one that's just kind of geared towards like cleaning and kitchen items. I grab an item and We'll go with this one. So organizing, I mean, who doesn't dream of having their home be completely organized, like to the T, like everything has its place. I know some people it doesn't bother, but when my house is totally clean and organized, like everything has its place, my mind is at ease, I feel happy. Like your home is your sanctuary. It really should be, everything has its place, so. That's my goal. That's also part of my journey is organizing and cleaning and decluttering my house and I'll be filming lots of it and sharing that with you guys because I also love watching those types of videos too. So anyway, my first item that I have here is a Savvy and Sorted. This is what it's called. Just so if you guys wanted to look it up, you can find it. I'm new at this whole like YouTube thing and um like linking things and having it linked below. I'm still learning how to do all that stuff, but I'm learning as I go and everything gets better with every video. I'm learning more and more. So anyway, I won't be linking things below because I haven't learned how to do that yet. But anyway, here's what I found. It comes with a premium liquid chalk marker. Is it wipeable? Like, can you wipe it off? Use a wet cloth to wash off. So let's actually get one out. Let's test it. I really hope I didn't just tear it, cut into a, no I didn't, I did. <laughs> I cut into it with my little cutter. So there's one of them that's got a little tear through it. They don't seem real cheap, they seem like decent quality. My question is, once you use it and then you wanna wipe it off, can you still see like it doesn't fully wipe off? That's my question I'm wondering. So through the magic of television, I won't have you sit here for 30 seconds. Okay, so I think we got it flowing. So I wrote on there, I wrote the word candy, it's dried. So the instructions say to use a damp, no, use a wet cloth to wash off. Okay, so it's wet. It's not just damp, it's wet, because it says wet, it doesn't say damp. Oh, it does, it comes right off. And you can't even tell it was on this one. There's no trace of it at all. Okay, so I did another one, because I wanted to test like, how easily does it just rub off then? Like if it is, if it does wipe off that easily with wet, does it wipe off real easily when it's dry? So here's one I just wrote high and I'm gonna rub my fingers on it and it doesn't come off. But you use your wet and it comes right off. Okay. That's a win. I say that's pretty good. Um, have you guys seen these? There are these compressed towels. You just get them wet and then they're supposed to expand. So I'm just gonna use my little spray bottle that I also got on Amazon. Just a little bit of water. They instantly start to go up. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit more here. It doesn't take too much to get them to start popping up. So I suppose if you got like a water bottle, you just pour pour a little bit on there. You just dump them in a bowl of water. I'm sure they would expand really quickly. Avoid direct sunlight and humidity. Store in a cool, dry place. Do not eat. Guys, don't eat these. Okay, apparently they've had problems with people eating these, so they had to put it on their packaging. Let me show you the packaging better. So that's what it is. Let's see how big these bad boys are. 
that's pretty decent. So we have a we do have a deep fryer and then every once in a while, you know, every so often, depending on how often you use it, but even if you don't use it very often, oil goes rancid and you gotta dump it out. So I tried looking into like a better way to dispose of your oil. Now, even if you're just using a little bit where you just have a little bit of oil in the bottom of your, your pan, like maybe you're just searing a few things or whatever, um, you just add a little bit of this to your oil. It needs to be warm. It can't be like completely cooled down. So it does have to be somewhat warm enough to melt these little um, chips that are in here. Like they kind of tell you in the back like how much you need of this product per how much oil that you have. I have used this and this does work well. Um, so I do, I already know this isn't like new. I have used this and this is my repurchase. So toaster bags, I've never used this. Your bread is supposed to toast through the bag. But if you want like a grilled cheese or you want like ham and turkey and whatever like you're making more of a sandwich and you have like a wide slot toaster obviously you'd probably need a wide slot toaster but this is supposed to keep like everything from like dripping out and getting down into the the toaster so it'll take your sandwich put it in there you leave it open then you just slide this into your toaster and it's supposed to warm up your sandwich and then toast it on either side so i need to try this shows on there that you can like put french fries in there or um you're you're warming up what is what is that like it's a four pack each bag can be used up to 100 times so that would be really fun to try this out um yeah i don't know i might insert some footage of That's interesting. Okay, so we've got Swedish dishcloths. They're made from an eco-friendly, biodegradable, and highly absorbent materials. So I am a huge um, paper towel user. I use lots of paper towels. It's terrible. I know it. I'm trying to find alternate things to use that give me like that paper towel feel that I can use a couple of times and not just use it and then throw it. I seen that on, um, there are these like reusable paper towels. They even come like on a roll, but you only get like maybe like 15 or 20 paper towels on there, but it tears off like a paper towel. Yeah, um, you can like reuse them. So, so you can, it's a scrubby when it's dry. It's absorbent like a sponge when wet. Rinse, ring and repeat clean in your washing machine for repeated use. So um, it's dishwasher safe, which I like that. So that's kind of nice too. I like that this is, you can throw it in a dishwasher and kind of like disinfect it with some of that high heat. Oh, these are interesting. So I'll have to see how these work. They're just like a square. So, so that'll be interesting. We'll try those and see how those work. 
I'm totally sold on these and here's why. Cause before it was like, oh, I've got lots of measuring spoons. Like I don't need those. You need these. <laughs> these are so cool. So here's why. So one, they're color coordinated because me, I'm getting older and seeing that fine print on things, I'm like, okay, what size is that? And then you're trying to like turn it in the light. Like you really can't see like, what, what is that? Well, one, they have it there and they have it written bigger here. But if you can, you know, once you use them for a while, you know that the one tablespoon is, is red. So once you know, okay, the tablespoon is red, you don't even need to read it. You just know it's the red one. It's tablespoon, you know, so you've got the color coordination. You don't have to read it. Two, the one thing I like is um, you got round on one side and oblong on the next because some of like those spice jars getting a round one in the the jar it won't fit so having like a longer one like you've got options for it fitting and then the other thing is um how they stack on top of each other it's magnetic so you don't have them all hooked together so when mine come all like hooked together on that ring I just take them off and then now they're just floating around the drawer like all over the place um so this like keeps them together it comes with like another thing that's magnetic and it's like a leveler oops sorry it's a leveler where you just kind of you know but it goes with it so it's like mag it's magnetic on top so i really like that and i was like once i saw that i was like yeah it's cute and all but but then once I started reading all the benefits of it, like the color coordinating and then having the, the two options and it's magnetic, I was sold. This thermometer, I've seen this like all over Amazon and it, I think our thermometer got broken. It may have gotten accidentally put in the dishwasher. I can't remember what happened to it, but it's like, it doesn't work anymore. Um, where the screen is like all like messed up or it just, I've tried putting new batteries in it. It's it's gone it gone like it, it ain't working anymore so anyway we i'm gonna try this out and see how well it works um oh, oh i like that it comes with like some of these things i swear they're not meant like they don't want you changing the battery they just want you to buy a new one because like the screw on it is like so unique and so weird that it's like you gotta buy a whole new thing to get it out but anyway i've seen this butter crock so I love regular butter. I, I used to buy country crock margarine, but then it's like, once you start hearing like that hydrogenated blah, 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 it's like super bad for you. It tastes so good, but it's like crazy bad for you. So you should just have like, if you're gonna have like a butter, just have regular butter, not margarine, I guess. I, I'm still learning at the age that I am. I'm still learning. So anyway, I love room temperature butter. So I've heard, this is the way to go if you're gonna have room temperature butter it keeps it airtight i guess so you've got your little it says butter on there is my light too bright again but it, it does it's like it does say butter it's like embossed inside of it so i get oh it's broken oh it's totally broken and I think I've had it too long. Like it's been sitting here too long. I don't think I'm el it's eligible to return. But anyway, I'll probably end up just getting another one. I'll see if I can return it, but sugar. Anyway, so what you're supposed to do is fill this part with butter and then you like level it off. So this is butter. And then you're supposed to put some water in there. So then when you lower it down in there, it's got a water seal on it so it's like airtight and it keeps it fresh so then when you lift it out yeah there's a little bit of water but you have your room temperature butter that's spreadable that's in your broken container it makes me sad but anyway whatever life's too short right what is this thing let's try this out what is this? Oh. Yeah. See, some of this stuff's been sitting here so long. I forgot what it was. 
But anyway, spatula, rubber spatulas. I love rubber spatulas, but your rubber spatulas are too wide. So when you put them in some jars, they, um, they, they'll cut them. So these ones are like longer. And I like that it has like a little curve to it. You're trying to get the bottom of like a, your mayo jar, your peanut butter, whatever. You're trying to get down into that jar. I got this one, it's shaped like that. A smaller one that's curved. And then this one. This is nice. I love them. And then of course that color, I just love that color. It's one of my favorite. And then the gray, I love gray, so. I'll have to see how well this works, but it's that counter gap cover from your stove to your, your countertop. You have that little gap um, to cover that gap up so you don't get like spills and drips down there and just for like keeping everything clean. I'm not sure about this because of how it might look. I wanna see like how well it kind of like blends in. Little part here that goes down into the crack and then this part just lays on top and it's not stiff it's like totally like you know bendable so it's gonna like mold to it it's not just gonna be like this stiff little plastic thing sticking on top of your counter so it comes with two one on one side one on the other so that'll be interesting to see how well it looks or if it kind of blends in I do have like rubber gloves all right hear me out so I am I'm taller you know, like six foot one, taller. I got, you know, longer fingers and then you add the fingernails. So when I'm like scrubbing dishes and stuff, like some of those rubber gloves that you put on, like my, my hands don't fit into them because my fingers are longer. Um, so I found a pair. It's, I don't know why it's a struggle, but I can't find rubber gloves that are a little bit bigger, not your standard, you know, your small, medium, large, you know, those yellow ones that you've been getting since the beginning of time. And then every once in a while, I'll find some that are like really cute and it's like, oh, those are really, but they don't fit my like chubby hands. I don't know what it is, but I can't fit them in those standard like gloves, those, you know, when you're cleaning. So I bought two of these. Well, I bought one, love it. So then this is my second one that I bought because I want one for dishes and then one for cleaning, like toilets and floors and stuff. Like I ain't touching that stuff with my bare hands. If you guys seen this, you had to have seen this. The expandable, I'm so freaking excited about this. It comes in such cute colors. You can actually get them in pink. I almost got pink, but I usually, my, my go-to color is gray. But anyway, I love it. You can expand it and have it sit in your sink, depending on what your sink size is, you know, you can. But um, yeah, I think the packaging may have fallen off of it, so I'm not sure if it's dishwasher safe. These little cleaner little things, like for cleaning grout or like the corner or the edges of things. I'm really excited about these. It, you know what, it, it don't take much to get me excited. I don't get out much. I don't, I don't get out much. I live out in the country. Me and my husband, we're living the life out here and um, maybe I need to get out more, I don't know, but I'm happy and I'm content, so I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. But anyway, these little scrubbers, I wanna say Vanessa, I follow her on Instagram, she's known for cleaning. She gave me the idea of these and she recommended these. So if she recommends it, I'm buying it because this woman is amazing. She might be the sweetest person on the planet too. She's so, so sweet. I like that you've kind of got the little groove there for scraping or cleaning out, whatever. Got maybe a little hoop there. I don't know if that's for like hanging up on a hook, but I thought these were awesome. I love how you got the grip there that you can clean. So you know the Squatty Potty people? Everyone knows the Squatty Potty people. Okay, so apparently, I didn't know this, they made a Squatty Potty, uh, their brand, they make a, a toilet uh, brush. But what I was sold on this is you hook it onto the, like your tank, between your tank and the wall, like this fits in there, and it hides your toilet brush. And then when you wanna use it 
again, I'm going to have to look it up on how it's used, but it comes out like that. You take, it's attached right now with this, uh, like a little thing, but you take the brush out, you clean your toilet, you put it back in there and then you tuck it back. And then this thing goes like under the tank and then this stuff is hidden behind the tank, that space that you have between the tank and the wall. Oh, and here's the picture of it. So it shows it on there on how it, it hides behind the tank, you know, and then it tilts out and whatever. You know, like those Swiffer floor mops. So there's this thing. This is, I think it's good for like cleaning multiple things ceiling fans things that are up high you can put it under your your um, like if you have like hardwood floors or hard floors under your sofa or chair and then you go like that you kind of like sweep out all of the the dust and stuff it gets bigger I know it does okay there see so it's a really nice length under your your refrigerator under your stove you know those hard to reach like the th it's like really skinny and then this is removable and it comes with another one so then you can throw them in the wash you can throw them in the wash so that's my kitchen slash cleaning amazon haul that's what i found recently that goes in the category of kitchen and cleaning let me know, comment down below on what you just recent, what is your, I don't care if it's something weird, if it's um, dog food, I, I don't care if it's, uh, oh yeah, I just bought some maxi pads. Comment down below and let me know what is the most current thing that you just had delivered to your house from Amazon? Batteries? A cool shirt? A purse? I don't care. Comment down below and let me know what you just got. See you guys in my next one. Bye.